Hello, Year 5, and welcome to Thursday's Reading Skills session. Okay, so our warm-up today, we've got three of our Viper skills. Our first is Retrieval. What colour is the lamp in the picture? Our second is an inference question. Where are the clues? Look for those inference hints. What time of day do you think it is in the picture and why? What time of day do you think it is in the picture? And you must explain why. Explain. How does the artist show the robot is bored? Okay, here come the answers. Uh, so retrieval question, the lamp was blue. The inference question, uh, we can say that it is the evening time. It's around dinner time because the lights in the sh uh, house are on. Uh, if they weren't on, we can see that from the corners it's dark. It's a dark, gloomy scene without the lights. And then we can also see that the robot is eating what looks like is dinner on the tray there. How do they show that the robot is bored? Well, we can say that we show that by the visual clues that the robot has a downturned mouth, sad eyes, and is in a slouched posture. Now, today the skills we're going to be looking at are V and S, vocabulary and summarising. All right, we're going to be looking at these two skills together in our text today, vocabulary and summarising. Right, so today's text, we're going to move on to the next stage in our chocolate making process. We're going to be in the factory. Day four, the factory. I'm going to read the first paragraph and you're going to read the second. After they've been packed onto the ships, the beans are sent all over the world to places including the USA and the UK. On arrival, the beans are then sorted and cleaned and eventually pasteurised to ensure that all of the impurities are removed. Today, I'm not going to pause on some of these tricky words because we're going to work together in our task to try and unlock their meaning. The beans are then roasted in revolving gas-fired ovens, which is when the seeds release their rich aroma and wonderful flavour. The roasting process can last anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. When finished, the cocoa shells are rather brittle and then need to be removed. The beans are passed over vibrating trays whilst being hit with a breaker arm and a machine called a kibbler. OK, I'd like you to pause the video here and read the second paragraph to yourself. OK, and now on to the first set of questions. First question today is to match up these words here on the left with the definitions on the right. They've all been jumbled up. OK, so we need to draw lines or something like that on the sheet if you wish, or give each, if you're working in your book, give each word and then the correct definition from the list next to it. So let's see how we're going to do this. If, you, if you're confident to start, you can get straight away. If you'd like a bit of support, let's look at, say, brittle. So we're going to go back to the text. I'm going to skim and scan and find the word brittle. I'm going to look across the text. Look across the text. I can see actually it's been highlighted for me. There is the word brittle. I'm just going to highlight it. And I'm going to read the sentence around the word. When finished, the cocoa shells are rather brittle and then need to be removed. So I'm looking for a word that could go in the place there. When finished, the cocoa shells are rather blank and they need to be removed. The cocoa shells are rather distinctive smell, usually pleasant, and need to be removed. Mm, doesn't sound right. The cocoa shells are either make something become liquid and need to be removed. No, that doesn't sound right at all. The cocoa shells are rather likely to break easily and need to be removed. Mm, that sounds like it might work. I'm going to keep that one as a possible. The cocoa shells are rather cleaned using heat. And no, that's not working. The cocoa shells are rather unwanted items that prevent purity and need to be removed. Mm, that kind of works as well, actually. So there's two possible ones there. What I might do is try and see if I can find any of them that match up well to another word to try and narrow down the right one. So pause the video here and have a go using that technique to find the meaning of those unknown words. All right, here come the answers. So they're colour matched here. Um, the first one, pasteurised, that means cleaned using heat. Impurities are the unwanted items that prevent purity. 
that's nicely linked to our science, that one, isn't it? That's very linked to what we've been talking about with pure and impure substances. Aroma is a distinctive smell, usually pleasant. Brittle, the one we looked at together, that means likely to break easily. And liquefy means make something become liquid. Right, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to read stage five, and then we're going to use stage four and five together to answer the last questions. Stage five, the mixer. To make chocolate, manufacturers then blend the unpressed chocolate liquor with condensed milk, sugar and extra cocoa butter. Special mixers churn the liquor and mix the ingredients together after they have been combined. These are all mixed for a few hours until it becomes a coarse brown dough called chocolate crumb. When this crumb has been create, created, it then needs to be refined. Giant steel rollers do the job of smoothing out the gritty mixture. The rollers break down the tiny particles of milk, cocoa and sugar, so it has a smooth, creamy texture. So our final task today is to complete this summary of stages four and five by filling in the blanks with the missing vocabulary. So let's look at this first sentence together. After the beans have been blank, the brittle shells are removed. So I'm going to go back to the text and I'm going to find the word brittle because I know that's in there. All right, here's brittle again. I'm looking for the process before the brittle shells are removed because in the text it said after the beans have been blank, the brittle shells are removed. So that tells me I need to go back and around here. The roasting process can last anywhere from 30 minutes up to two hours. When finished, the cocoa shells are rather brittle and removed. So it's the roasting process. So the blank is going to be after the beans have been, it's not going to be roasting, I'll have to change it a bit. After the beans have been roasted, the brittle, sh brittle shells are removed. So I'm going to copy this text into my book and I'm going to fill in the blank. And now I'd like you to do the same. Pause the video, copy the text into your book, filling in the blanks. So here come your answers. After the beans have been roasted, the brittle shells are removed. To do this, they are hit with breaker arms in the kibbler. Using huge fans, the shells are literally blown away in the winnower. The delicious remains are known as cocoa nibs. Now the grinding begins in the mill where heavy rollers create the paste, chocolate liquor. Mix this with condensed milk, cocoa butter and sugar, and you've nearly got chocolate. After it's churned together, you'll have a rich, dark dough called the chocolate crumb. The final step is to pass it through the rollers to smooth out the mixture in a process known as refinement. You could also have refining at the end there. OK, that's it for today. I hope you managed to get, if not all of those words, at least five or six of them. Now tomorrow we'll do our final session of the week and we'll look at the final product, chocolate. And I think we'll finish the week even with a little tasting of the uh, magic substance itself. So if you can get hold of some chocolate, if you've got a little bit somewhere at home, why not save it for our reading skills tomorrow and we'll have a little chocolate tasting when we do it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.